Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at sheet and document properties. Let's create a new drawing document first. Drawing, OK. Let's accept the default properties for sheet format and click OK. Now let's cancel out of model view. Right click on the sheet and scroll down to properties. Here we've got the sheet properties dialog window and from here we can change the sheet name, the scale, the type of projection, either first angle or third angle. We can specify values for the labels for views and datum. Here we can choose the sheet format size. I'll use landscape B for example. Down below we can browse for templates. Let's cancel out of the browse dialog window. Select custom sheet size if you want to input values for a unique sheet size. Let's go back to standard sheet size. And let's click OK. Let's take a look at a few more properties. Open the options window. Let me just drag it in. Go to the document properties tab. We're on the drafting standards branch. Let's take a look at overall drafting standards. We have a few different options here that I will introduce you to. ANSI, or ANSI, stands for American National Standards Institute. ISO stands for International Standards Organization. DNI is the German Institute of Standards. Next, we've got JIS. This refers to the Japanese Industrial Standard. BSI is the British Standards Institute. GOST, or GHOST, refers to Eurasian standards. And lastly, here we have GB. These are Chinese national standards. I'm going to use the top one, ANSI, A-N-S-I. Now let's go to the units branch. Currently, we're using millimeters, grams, and seconds, MMGS. Down below, we can specify the number of decimal points we'd like to use. This table is where you further fine tune the display of your units. Right here, I can set the display of my second dimension in inches, even though I'm working in the metric system. Here's where we can specify the units for angular dimensions, degrees, radians, degrees per minute, etc. We'll just stick with degrees. At this point, let's click OK. And this concludes our video about manipulating the properties of your drawing document.